I'd cancelled my um, personal trainer. He texted me at 4 a.m. Don't think I'm going to be in a fit state to see you today. Do you fancy doing tomorrow at the same time? I replied, and it was 4.30 a.m. I said, holy shit, David, it's early. I actually replied. Like, oh no, I've got people still throwing me and sucking such a dick this way. Yeah, my he way. genuinely now believes that I have a big fat girlfriend and I love sucking. Okay. I said, I'm actually going away for the rest of the week. It might be a while before we can continue. He said, no problem, dude. Uh, let's do today at nine then. And I said, um, I'd rather not. You know, when was the last time you got a workout like that? And I was like, when I banged your mum last night. No. It's been awesome to train with you. I've had a great time and I've learned a lot, but I think we're going to have to stop. Okay, Lewis, gutted to hear that. I've thoroughly enjoyed training you. He said, fancy meeting up for a coffee at some no. point to have a chat about it. And I didn't reply to that. His torn glutes. So I said, did you get that from all the gay sex? They look very suspiciously like knobbly dildos. You had one up, but I was like, you would use that on your ass. Breaking up with a personal trainer really awkwardly via text. I want to see other. Okay, <laughs> uh, I've sent out new invites. Sexy. Hot bod. <laughs> Great ass. <laughs> Fucking love it. Lewis, I miss you verbally abusing me. Can you come back to the gym? It's like trying to get back together. He's in denial. Uh, <laughs> Lewis, please come back. No one else goes to this shitty gym. That's it. That's the end of no, our Lewis, relationship. Lewis, you didn't reply. It's really weird.